Black hairy tongue is a relatively rare acquired condition that is considered harmless and self-limited. It is positively correlated with increasing age though there are case reports even in children. Although black hairy tongue is typically described as a thickened area of black discoloration on the surface of the tongue with the sides and tip being unaffected, the black color descriptor is not universal. The color can also be white, brown, and even blue. Generally, having a black hairy tongue causes no other symptoms and treatment is pursued due to aesthetic reasons. So what exactly is going on when a black hairy tongue develops? Anatomically, the tongue mucosa is normally covered by tiny taste buds called papillae. Normally, the papillae are small protrusions of the tongue mucosa, typically rising less than 1 mm from the surface. Along with taste, they function to increase friction between the tongue and food in order to move particles around within the oral cavity. However, in black hairy tongue, these normally less than 1 mm tongue protrusions can grow to over 1 cm in length and 2 mm width. When these elongated protrusions are examined under the microscope, the hairs are actually highly elongated cornified spines that result from delayed desquamation of the cells in the central column of the papillae and marked retention of secondary papillary cells that express hair type keratins. To use an analogy, think of a skinny tower of Lego blocks. Normally, after making a Lego tower about 5 pieces high, each subsequent piece will fall off due to instability. With black hairy tongue, this skinny Lego tower is growing to 10 to 15 pieces high with subsequent pieces being added not easily falling off like it normally should. This carpet of abnormally long papillae protrusions then over time secondarily collect fungi, bacteria, minerals, and other inorganic particles which leads to the discoloration. To reiterate, microorganisms found in black hairy tongue is coincidental and not causative. I will further stress that although fungi and bacteria may be present and do contribute to the discoloration, there is no infection present per se. These organisms are happily just living on the surface without actually invading the tongue lining. Treatment is really to address the long papillae and not so much what's on it. This condition may mysteriously appear and just as mysteriously disappear for no perceivable reason. However, sometimes this condition can occur due to a precipitating trigger which when corrected or avoided will often resolve the discoloration within weeks to months. So, what are some of these triggers that might cause a black hairy tongue? Smoking, e-cigarettes, drinking alcohol, poor oral hygiene, immunocompromise, excessive coffee or black tea drinking, mouthwash such as Listerine and Scope, Pepto-Bismol, dry mouth, prolonged soft diet, radiation cancer therapy to the head and neck region, trigeminal neuralgia, Medications generally encompassing antibiotics and psychotropics have also been reported to cause black hairy tongue. Treatment is geared towards first avoiding any precipitating triggers and or medications as well as starting manual debridement. Do practice great oral and dental hygiene, but avoid chemical mouthwashes of any kind like Listerine or Scope, as well as use a bland SLS-free toothpaste such as Tom's or Closis. When debriding the tongue, use a tongue scraper in order to manually remove not just the organisms and debris, but also to cut the abnormally long papillae shorter down to a more normal small size. If there is a heavy growth of thrush present, a course of prescription antifungal atrocious can help, but again, will not correct this problem which is due to an anatomic elongation of the papillae. Antibiotics should be avoided which may actually exacerbate this problem. To reiterate, there is no infection present. The organisms are coincidental and not causal. Second line treatments are anecdotal with no single treatment proven to reliably cure or reverse black hairy tongue. These include 1% gentian violet application to the tongue using a Q-tip daily for 3 days, baking soda rinses, half to 1 teaspoon of baking soda in 1 cup of water, 3% hydrogen peroxide rinses, 50% trichloroacetic acid application, 40% urea solution application, salicylic acid application, topical and oral retinoids, vitamin B complex, thymol application. If resolution is not forthcoming in spite of these interventions, a biopsy can be obtained to confirm nothing else is going on before proceeding to more invasive options including manually cutting the filiform papillae shorter with scissors or scalpel, carbon dioxide laser, or electrodesiccation.